Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a wandering straight pour, and I'm using some colors, and I'm using some paints I normally don't mess with, so let's see how this comes out. Also, don't forget, if you missed this last week's We Are Family Pride pours, that happened on this past Sunday, and coming up this Saturday is the first day of the fluid stock pours in which I am starting us off at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's gonna be a lot of fun artist and you can see the um, playlist down in the description box below. All right, let's get down on the canvas and let's get started. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so what I've got here is a repurposed canvas, a 20 by 24. This is something I was playing with, the colors didn't work out too well, things got too stretched out. So we're going to repurpose that, we're going to need about 17 ounces of paint. So I'm out of my pouring medium, so today I'm using just paint and Floatrol, and I'm using um, <clears throat> some different paints. I just want to do some experimenting. And so my colors I'm using, and I've lightened them all up. So I'm using the Daler and Rowney white, and each color is mixed with greenish blue from Amsterdam, King's blue from Amsterdam, and then I'm using Creative Inspirations in the Viridian, Creative Inspirations in the Scarlet Lake, and creative inspirations in the lemon yellow. So all these colors are mixed. One ounce of the white and one ounce of the paints. And then added Floatrol. So these here, <clears throat> excuse me, are making a pretty thick consistency because I'm going to be doing a wandering straight pour. We're gonna need 17 ounces of paint. I've got a 16 ounce cup, but if I fill it up all the way to the top, I should be good. Um, I am using, this is a turquoise green color that I had left over that I'm gonna repurpose. Some yellow. Very pastel kind of color palette. Salmon color here. This is some um, titanium white from Amsterdam with uh, just a touch of satin enamels. And the greenish blue. Should make an interesting color palette. Let's come back in again. Thank you. 
All right, we're gonna start right here, not quite to the edge, because we don't want so much paint to fall off the edge. Really cool looking color palette. Now I've got some table scraps, a really, really dark kind of a gray color. I'm just gonna use that as my flow extender. Cause it's all gonna get tilted off anyways. So I'm just gonna go right around the edge. Give this a torch. All right, let's start tilting this up.
I dig this. This has got some really cool swiping through here. It's almost like a dip, um, as if maybe you're in some sort of underwater current. Um, I'm loving this scarlet red that's coming through here with the fingerlings. Really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna touch up my edges, torch, and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys down. All right, here we go. Check it out. Love these colors. It is really, really nice. I'm loving the fingerlings. I'm loving this, the yellow and the orange, how, or the yellow and the red, how it just really blends and creates flames. Let me bring you in here. All right, I'll let you guys see this dry. I'll be right back. All right, here's the dried result. This really came out cool. Got those bright, uh, that red, kind of looks a little pinkish now that it's dried, but it kind of looks like flames or some sort of fire. It really goes well with that yellow too. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it. The video, this piece came out great. It dried just wonderful. Um, I'm very happy with the actual dried results. Sometimes when you paint over an existing canvas, you can get some cracking or some air bubbles and things like that. So it really, really dried out wonderful. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I'll put this up on my Etsy shop and I am getting the final touches to the pieces that I'm gonna do for my online auction, so be looking out for that. Don't forget, uh, all my paintings are for sale. You can head over to my Etsy shop. You can see those that are there. Um, and again, like I said, I will be doing an online auction here on YouTube soon. Um, don't forget, coming up this Saturday, we have the uh, fluid stock pouring, which is going to be a list of I forget how many artists we have. I think 16 or 19 artists. It's spread out over two days. I'm starting us off on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to uh, check that out, you can also go into the description box below and I've got a whole playlist of everybody's videos that's gonna be playing on Saturday. All right, everyone, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.